Galileo Galilei was an Italian from the 17th century, notable for being the first philosopher to say, you know what, fuck philosophy. Philosophy is stupid. Of course, before Galileo came along, philosophy wasn't the complex and amorphous system of competing theories and ideas that we have today. Back then, the philosophy, with a capital P as it was known, was a dogmatic, orthodox series of absolutes regarding the nature of reality, and even after 2,000 years, it all began and ended with the thoughts of Aristotle. Philosophy, science, and theology were all basically the same thing, and they were all controlled by the Catholic Church. Philosophers could build upon Aristotle, but they could not contradict him, except on the rare occasion Aristotle was directly contradicted by the Bible, in which case it was decreed no big deal, Aristotle had simply made a mistake, it happens to the best of us. We can't really lay the blame on Aristotle, he was a pretty okay guy, and to be fair, he didn't know that his philosophical thoughts had put the entire Western world in an intellectual and scientific stalemate through the last part of the ancient world, the entirety of the Middle Ages, and halfway through the fucking Renaissance. Galileo came along at this point and belatedly said, you know what, let's consider the possibility that a guy in a loincloth living in a clay shanty 2,000 years ago might not have known everything that can ever be known about anything ever. This all started in 1604 when a supernova exploded so close to the Earth that it was brighter than the stars at night. Galileo and his sidekick Johann Kepler put forward the theory that the phenomenon was an exploding star, which went against the Aristotelian dogma that nothing in the universe moves or changes beyond the planets and the sun, which of course nearly orbits the Earth as Aristotle said it does. As far as the Church was concerned, the supernova was merely a completely ordinary meteorological event, and if you jumped high enough, you could poke it with a stick. Galileo said that not only could he prove that change was occurring among the so-called fixed stars, but there was a hip new idea called heliocentrism, which stated that the Earth went around the Sun, and that he could prove this using this new thing he'd invented called the scientific method. This idea of a science, divorced from more wanky concepts such as metaphysics, theology, and ethics, got off on the wrong foot with Aristotelian philosophers from the very start, who declared, what the hell does measurement have to do with philosophy? Galileo replied, you know what, sweet fuck all, and that's why he was breaking away from philosophy altogether to start his own club, and he was going to invite Kepler and Newton and Pascal and Leibniz and Halley, and they'd all get together conducting experiments and formulating scientific theorems open to peer review and empirical scrutiny. Galileo then shat in philosophy's living room, walked outside, and invented the telescope. The Aristotelians were happy to be rid of him for a while, but were further antagonized when Galileo popped up again to say, hey guys, I've been looking at the moon through my telescope that I invented using science, and I saw all these mountains and shit. Because Aristotle taught that the celestial objects were all perfect spheres, philosophers again condemned Galileo's work and even tried to use his own science against him, stating that if he was seeing mountains in a telescope, scientifically we must conclude that the mountains exist inside the telescope, not on the moon. The philosophers all high-fived each other and then imprisoned Galileo for the rest of his natural life. Nevertheless, Galileo still had the last laugh after he got together with René Descartes and they proceeded to double-team Aristotle into oblivion and end his reign forever. Galileo permanently transformed Western thought and effectively ended the Church's monopoly over it, which is interesting considering that everything he said had already been said by Copernicus several decades before he was born, except nobody listened or gave a shit. This is probably simply because Galileo was a lot more obnoxious than Copernicus and nice guys finish last. Galileo is considered to be the father of science, or at least the guy who first decided that science and philosophy should be two different things. This is why science students laugh at you when you say you're studying philosophy, but philosophy students don't really care because they're too busy having sex with women. <laughs>